Hello once again, Spotlight Creative Cooking by Spotlight is back on. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, um, yesterday, which was our debut talk show, well, not talk show, debut, um, what do we call it, reality show. Um, my first time cooking, and yesterday I cooked rice and peas and french fried chicken, which turned out absolutely fabulous. It was amazing. Now I'm going to prepare something that I don't know nothing about. And this is my little corner of what I'm going to, of what I will be using today. I know I'll be using the spaghetti, so I would like to call it. So I would like to call it. Um, I'm going to make something Italian. I don't know. Like I always love Italian language, Italian people. They are very romantic. Can be a little bit loud, but romantic. So I'm going to call it spaghetti di amore. That's what I'm going to make it today. Spaghetti di amore. I don't have a clue. But I'm going to use, I'll be using the codfish. And the codfish is known as the, uh, we call it salt fish in Jamaica. And um, the codfish, it came from Newfoundland, Canada, actually. It was brought to Jamaica by, from Newfoundland. But it's debatable that it came from Portugal. We're not too sure about that. I'm going, I'm going to be using hot dog rolls. I'm not making any hot dog. I got the hot dog sausages as well, but I'm not going to make any hot dog. I'm going to use that roll to create a, I don't know if it's a French word or it's Italian. Bouchette. It's that little thing where they toast the bread, but it look like the bread is, um, it look like it look fancy because it's Italian, but they toast the bread really. They burn the bread up in the stove. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to use some sweet pepper, some onion, um, tomato, and regular pepper and black pepper. So it should be a little bit spicy. So what I'll be doing right now, I'm going to get the, this is the pot I'm going to use. Mm -hmm. I am going to boil the salt fish. So right now I'm going to take, because the salt fish needs to be boiled for it to get softer. And then I pick the salt fish. So this is the salt fish. I don't have to wash it off or scale it off as mm -hmm. yet. As soon as I am, um, it's boiled, then I can do so. But I want to take off these fins part, you know. Or should I leave it? Should I leave, leave it? Leave it. Leave it. I'll leave it. So I'm gonna put it in the pot. Where we should I put on light the fire first, no? Put it in the pot and then the light the fire. So I'm gonna put it in the pot. It's a, it's a, it's boiling water. Well, it's not boiled yet, but it's water. And um, that water good enough, no? Do I need some more water to boil it? Put a piece from in. No, I think I use so much water. So much water. Okay. There we go. Now I'm going to light the stove. No. What? Oh, it's electric stove. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. It's electric stove. <laughs> well, I borrowed the stove. It's not really mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to boil that. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, as soon as we're ready to pick the salt fish, now I will get back to you at, after these messages. Welcome back um, to thank Creative you. Cooking by Spotlight. Hey. All right, now I'm boiling. I have the pot with the sawfish. It's boiling up. It's not yet finished, but I'm not going to wait until that finished boil before I make the next move. So now I want to use the spaghetti. So you know I've used it. I use the uh, codfish. Now I'm going to use the spaghetti. Now what I will be doing, I want to boil the spaghetti as well. So I'm going to take a few of these spaghettis like this. I don't have a clue what I'm making, as I said before, but I'm going to call it spaghetti di amore, which means the love of spaghetti. I really don't like spaghetti, but what I'm making, it's not much about the spaghetti. It's more about the codfish. Don't tell the spaghetti that. All right, so I'm going to break this in half. Okay, and then I'm going to drop it into the pot. Should I break another set? Mm-hmm. Okay. And drop it in the pot. That is good enough? Mm -hmm. I should make a little bit more. Not too much. Yeah, this is this is fine. This should be fine. Now come with me. I'm going to put the um. And now I remember that it's electronic stove. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. you press in and turn right. Mm -hmm. That's it. But it's not on. It's wasting the gas. Um, press in. Come on, work this thing for me, yeah? You can take it on my eye, you know. You don't have to put it in my face. What did you do? 
Press it on. Then got me do. Anyways. No. Alright, nobody okay. turn me up back. Okay, let me press it down. Hold on. You know, if you get my upper body thing, you can watch for me. I do as well. Just, yes. Wait. You're weak. You're a pussy. Don't, don't talk me stuff. It's, this is going to go viral. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, sorry. This is just not working. Oh, there it goes. And I should turn it down. Not yet. Let me stay on the maximum first until Make I get it ready to start boiling. Turn it down. No, man, when it starts to get ready for boiling, we turn it down. Right. So now we have this, the, the, the salt fish, the codfish on the pot. And then we have the, um, the spaghetti. And please don't say anything <laughs> unless you need to because. I don't want this to be. This talk show is supposed to be viral. It's gonna be on YouTube, right? So mm -hmm. don't like say any expletives like the other guy the last time. I don't like it at all. All right, what I'm gonna do right now? Keep the camera up and keep looking at me and stop looking. You can use the camera. This photo um, videographer is not very good. First time using camera, but it's fine. I'm gonna use the sausage and I'm gonna cut up the sausage into small pieces. Where's the knife? So, I don't have a clue what I'm going to do with the sausages yet, but I just bought the sausage in here just to not have too in much, a... um, not have too much of codfish or one type of ingredients. You understand? I wanted to mix it up, the codfish with the sausage. Now, I'm quite sure this is not typical Jamaican because people don't make stuff like this in Jamaica. It's usually just rice and peas and chicken, rice and peas and chicken, or goat, goat meat or beef or cow or all that kind of stuff so but i want to make something different i'm gonna call it the italian food you know i've always thought i could have an italian um alias name but it never really did work out because when i spoke to the italians apparently there are no names that begins with k and my real name begins with k my real name is camille so i wanted to be called to be called ken chenzo <laughs> Yes, but apparently when I asked the Italians if I could be named Kencenzo, they said no, it's, it's not an Italian name, so, but I'm still making the Italian cuisine. I'm going to cut up these sausage, because I'm also going to deep fry, I'm going to use some cooking oil with the spaghetti, I don't want the spaghetti to be too, too soft. I don't want it to be cooked when it well when it feels like it, as if it's cooked then um then we can use it and fry it and then I'm gonna cut up the onion the spaghetti the pepper and the sweet pepper along with and I have to use some salt as well where is my salt I'm not ready for the salt yet all right though ladies and gentlemen this is creative cooking by spotlight it's a little bit boring today because I don't have the crazy man that came from the caves without shirt to teach me how to cook today. But I'm doing it all by myself, so y'all should be proud of me. Second time cooking. And you know what? It ain't too late for a shower of rain. Thank you. Come on, start. Welcome back to Creative Cooking by Spotlight. Now, as you can see, come on over here. Now we mixed up um, we cut up the onion and the pepper, sweet pepper, sweet pepper, and tomato. Mm. All right, and then I cut up the sausage which we spoke about earlier. I still don't have a clue what we're gonna do with the bread yet, but come on over now. Now, as you can see, the salt fish is boiled. And the spaghetti is also boiled. 
<sighs> what should I do with them? Well, I know we have to. Let me just get the sawfish out of the pot. I think. Yes, we're gonna get the sawfish out. That's crazy. Yeah, look at the codfish. Oh my god. Wow. I heard that this thing is really ugly, you know. If you see it in real life, you run. Yes. Then carry it. Hmm? Then carry it. Carry it. Fish. Okay, what can I read? You don't carry it. Yeah, then carry it. What do you do with the head? They chop off the head before they bring it by before they bring it so we can see it. Yes, then chop off the head. You're gonna really want to see the saltfish in a real life. You're wrong. Alright, so now we're gonna scrape off the saltfish. So look at that. Hi. Yes. Wow. Uh, this should, should I scrape this off this part? I wonder if I should put it with the um Put it with sausage. What? With saltfish. Indeed, I do. And when I don't pick it, I'm gonna put it somewhere else. Mm, so you have no everything you mix up with. Hmm? No everything you mix up with. Yeah. Uh, this is the part I don't like. I don't know if I know the scale saltfish in there. I don't get the rid of bones too. I know. American people don't like bone. Everything in America is deboned. Use your hand. Use my hand? It's hot. It's hot, hot, hot. So you see what the codfish look like? Yes, because this is a part of our national dish. The ackee and... I don't have the ackee with me now, but the ackee and saltfish is our national dish in Jamaica. We call it ackee and saltfish. Ackee spell A-C-K-E-E -E and saltfish. It's codfish, but why they call it saltfish? Because it's really salty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, it's nice already. And it's salt, turn up in a hit. And let me want some of it. Last time I tried to look about something like this, it dry out. Creative cooking by Spotlight, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm making spaghetti there more. I can't wait for you to see the finished product. It's gonna be awesome. Yes. So what I'm scaling up, I'm scaling up the, the, the scale or the fin and these outer parts. Cause you only just want this inside part of the salt fish. You don't want all the scale to be on the salt fish. Just like when you scale fish. Mm -hmm. Just to make sure I'm getting all the meat part separated and the bone, because I don't want the bone, too much bone to each up in my teeth. These bones are very fine bones. So this is how you pick the salt fish. I'm not picking it properly, but it's it's an idea of how to pick the salt fish. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith. I receive my sight, and now I am happy all the way. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight. And now I am happy all the way. You know, they used to sing these type of songs to run Duppy. We try, you know, Duppy is another word for ghost, if y'all didn't know. And ghost, there are three types of ghosts in Jamaica country ghost, coolie ghost, and town ghost. Is the camera on me? Yes. So sometimes we just grab the salt and we sprinkle to the four corners of our house and we t just to get rid of the ghost. And we say a couple words. We say, not a dopey come here tonight. I Pray with evil spirit. Pray uh, crosses and tribulation. And obey evil man. Yes, and sometimes we get the white worm to fumigate against evil spirit. I bought a bottle of JB white worm, you see. When I don't eat this food and drink like a white worm, yes, the spirit shall lift off me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say? What are you going to say? I want to drink before. 
drink it, pour corn and then Then tell me so, in order to not have the ghost come on you, just um, you open a scripture in your Bible, preferably Psalms, mm -hmm. and you get the water, and you put the water right at your bedside. So let me ask you a question, now, hot water or cold water? Cold water. Cold water. Or put a coconut on your bed. Or coconut. Skellion. Coconut that skellion. Yes, a skellion run up if it's true, you know. Mm -hmm. All right, now I'm not gonna go through the process of picking all of this for you to see me right now. But as I said, I, I, I cut up my um. You wouldn't call it seasoning, would you? Is it seasoning same here? What? I cut up my pepper, my onion, and my it's seasoning. Your veg. My vegetable <clears throat> to put. I am going to fry the salt fish with the spaghetti in it and with the 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 sausage. And at the end of it, and then. Cut these slices of these bread, cut them in cubi in cubicles, and I'm gonna toast them. So when I finish, you will see spotlight spaghetti de amor. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned for the finished product. Welcome back to Creative Cooking by Spotlight. So I put the um the oil in the pan, and then I put the um the salt, the codfish, and the the um, sausages. sausage. I'm going to put this spaghetti on top of it. Shrimp yam more, my love. No shrimp, um, spaghetti yam more. Oh. Yeah. Ah, so then why PG is... That's what I'm saying, it's, I made it not... Well, I don't want... I made it as an uh, European cuisine. This is not Jamaican. Yes. Vegetable. Can I have the veg already? Yeah, put in your veg. Give me this piece of this somewhere. Alright, so this is the shrimp the amour. Look at it. The shrimp, um, spaghetti the amour. <laughs> shrimp is on my mind. <laughs> and the can't be mixed up with the spaghetti. I want the spaghetti to be the crisp though. I don't want it too much water in. So I mix this up, mix this up. Get your veg I'm going to get the veg. That's what it is. Yeah, make it all dry out. This veg not, it's, it's not supposed to be too cooked out tonight. I just want it to be a little bit um, raw veg kind of. So I get the vegetable. I'm going to mix the veg inside of it. Only thing I'll do, I'm going to take a little bit more and then the spaghetti needs to be crisp. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. My spotlight's first time, second time cooking. But I can't believe that I'm, I'm making European dishes. Not really much of a Jamaican cuisine. And this is enough to eat for now and for later. Look at that. I wanted the spaghetti to be crisp though. I don't know how to get it crisp. You know, like the spaghetti is a little bun up. Should I take a little bit more oil in it or leave it? Mm -hmm. Or some white. Where black pepper? I forgot the black pepper. <laughs> Wait there, let me take, let me take a little bit more oil. And the salt, the salt. I already need no salt. No salt, you know I need no salt. Stop. I forgot the black pepper. Ladies and gentlemen, the part of the seasoning, the black pepper, plays a vital role with the seasoning, you know, with the um, cooking. Too much black pepper. You know what? No salt. I didn't salt it. Can't be much of black pepper carrots. Yes, salt. Yes, I forgot the black pepper plays a very vital role into what I'm making. Wow. I wonder if I still need the, the, the roll. After making this, I don't think I need the roll. Either. Look at it, ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't it look beautiful? Yes. So I'm just going to make it. I mix it up now. I don't want to mix it up too much. So I'm going to go finer, but it's alright. 
the black pepper is inside. I can't keep reminding me about the black pepper because it's fresh. I ain't even fresh in the car sauce, you know. So I just keep doing I want to mix up the sausage and the thing inside of it. Inside this spaghetti thing. I feel like I just cut the bread and put the bread back up like now. Highly bread? Yes. I said the bread. I have to toast that's what I did. And toast up the bread. So I'm going to cover this for a little bit and wait until it is a pattern. Yeah. Not nothing big for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, so. Ladies and gentlemen, all right, we'll be back after these messages and then we're going to get to see the, the after everything. When everything's finished, we're going to see how it look like. Yes. Welcome back to Creative Cooking by Spotlight. I thought the aisle cut, but it's really the aisle short me So now I am going to share the video. I think it's finished now. And I hope. You like it. I'm not going to use the um. I don't think I'm going to use the the, 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 the toast. Then the big toast. I'm just going to put the bread beside it. There we go. Imagine this up to the pick some more. Oh. Where's your No, no. Use some more. All right. I'm gonna place the toast. Come. Share for me. Yes, I'm gonna share it. Small bit too. I said the roller broke up. You know what the roller broke up? Look at it, ladies and gentlemen. Just like that. Fabulous. Hmm? Yes. So, let me share another one. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was Spotlight Creative Cooking. I haven't tasted it yet, but I'm quite sure it's going to be nice. All right. So, my friends are going to try my cuisine. You don't want more than this. I mean, I don't want to share too much anyway. It's the food. And then we put it with the toast again. Shamar! 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 No. You ready now or you ready now? Ready for what? Sit in here. Yes. Yeah, really so, ladies and gentlemen, do I drink, do I drink, do I drink, where's some pour drinks? Oh, let me put the drinks beside it. No, just let me picture. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. This is our second event of Spotlight's Creative Cooking, Second Time Cooking. And this this time we made an Italian special called Spaghetti di Amore. And look at it. Splendocious. Alright, thank you very much for making the creative Build cooking by Spotlight. What, what you saying, saying y'all? Uh. Uh, no, you're not. What you saying, y'all? Watcha, watcha. I'm your friend. No, you're not. You then I. What you saying, y'all? I'm your friend. No, you're not. You then I. What you saying, y'all? I'm your friend. No, you're not. Yo, uh, uh. I used to got a friend by the name of Richie I was in love with this girl named Nikki Richie didn't know I am Nikki You see me but through friends I greet him to the girl who's